Hello, my name is Emily and this is my life. My mum's called Sue and my dad was called Steve and I was born on the 24th of June at Christiana Hartley Maternity Hospital, Southport. When I was one and a half years old, my dad died in a car accident in Germany. After this, the only family that I have had is my mum, me, my auntie and my nan. We all lived together for most of the time. We, me and mum had our own little house, which wasn't too far away from my nan and auntie. So every day after school, I always used to go around to theirs and have dinner. At the age of two, I was in Kinderworld Nursery and me and this other girl ended up having a fight at the dinner table because she slammed the chair into my foot. I thought it was on purpose even though it was completely by accident and I completely reacted in the wrong way and it ended up the nursery nurses having to separate us. At the age of four I started at Holy Family Catholic Primary School and this is where I met my first best friend who was called Hannah Williams. We don't talk anymore but the friend but the friendship lasted right up until we left to go to high school. So it finished when we were 11 years old. At the age of four is when I got glasses, which I still have to wear every day today. So I've worn them for 14 years now. When I was in year three, I've forgotten to draw arms on myself. When I was in year three, I broke my ankle and I remember this because I went to Southport Hospital and they told me it was just a sprain. A couple of days later, the bruising had spread all the way up my leg and from my toe. This made my mum have suspicions that it was actually broken so he took, took me back to the hospital and they said that it was broken from another x-ray. So yeah, I was, in, I was in plaster for six weeks and I couldn't use crutches so I had to have this shoe thing on all the time other than when I was asleep. When I was in year six, we all had to leave primary school and move on to secondary school. This was quite an emotional time for me because I had some of the best years of my life at Holy Family and I will never forget them. That summer after I left primary school, waiting to go into secondary school, two weeks before I started secondary school actually, my nan died on the 24th of August 2006. This was a really hard time for me because I was really worried about starting high school and also started high school while I was grieving. In September I started at Christ the King High School. This was a really scary time for me because it was a lot, big, lot bigger than what I expected it to be and there was a lot more people going from about 300 to 1000 and I couldn't grasp the concept that we had to move classrooms for about at the whole of the first week and I kept getting lost and ended up being late. In my phone there was a girl called Natalie. We were really close and instantly clicked. We we had we made up our own secret language within the first week of being friends. This was sure to be la to last forever. The friendship didn't last long. One day, I was walking in school and somebody else in my form came up to me called Georgina. Um, and she told me that Natalie had died. I instantly said, you're joking. She walked off crying her eyes out and then I felt really guilty. I still didn't believe it, but I knew that something was seriously wrong. I went up to form by myself and waited there for five minutes and basically cried. Another girl came along and said that we were all downstairs talking to the shops in. A few of us were really upset about hearing the news, so the chaplain 
said to us that we could spend as much time as we wanted in the chapel with her just to talk things over. This turned out to be to ended up being spending the whole day in there and not doing any work, just remembering the happy times that we spent together, even though it was only a year. I'm going to do this in a bit of a bit of long snippet. Basically in year nine, from all the death that surrounded me in the past two years, I became really depressed and basically, which basically led to Saltar. I don't really like talking about it, so that's why I did the whole chunk all together. I still get days where I feel really sad, but I don't turn to self-harm anymore. I made a new, group, a new group of friends at this point who were there for me through the hard times. <clears throat> this is where I also met my best friend who lives in London and she is also now my girlfriend. Um, but yeah, without her and the people who were around me at the time, I probably basically wouldn't be alive today. But I don't really like talking about it. So, yeah. At the end of year 11, we went to the prom. This was a really good day because we all got in a lim limo and drove around town just singing and taking photos and generally just having a laugh. My dress was all black and had a silver diamante circle in the middle of it which is here and I had wispy bangs at this point because I didn't know whether I wanted a fringe or whether I didn't want a fringe even though I had one when I was little but I didn't know whether I want it back at this stage. In September 2011, I started Southport College and I was doing childcare level two. On here, I met a few new friends and one of my friends came with me from high school. This was a fun year and realized that life was meant to be for happy, for being happy and I slowly got over being so sad all the time. I am still here now, however I've done childcare level, finished childcare level 2, done childcare level 3 and now I'm doing level 3 subsidiary diploma in health and social care. On the 10th of November 2012, me and Simone were having a conversation on Twitter. We were calling each other babe and sending each other kisses. This led to somebody else commenting to us saying are we together well we didn't know what to say like it was it was a really confusing time and i genuinely had feelings for her but i didn't actually tell her we'd been speaking since 2010 and it was generally really weird so i either text or rang her and said look what this person's put on Twitter so we did and we both ended up laughing I then said shall we actually be in a relationship she was really shocked at first but then we ended up getting together and one year and four months ish down the line we are still together still talking pretty much every day on Skype and Twitter and Tumblr and pretty much everything phone calls <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah I don't know what else to say in June 2013 I decided to tell my mum that I was a lesbian and that I was actually going out with Simone that's why we were talking so much well not going out because you know long distance kind of stops that but yeah told my mum that me and Simone were actually together in a relationship 
I think she's okay with it. We don't really talk about it that much. But as she's like, as long as I'm happy, then she's happy, which is a good thing. So basically she's okay with it. <laughs> June 2013 I celebrated my 18th birthday. This was a really big celebration and me and my mum decided to celebrate it by going to Rhodes. This was a really nice hotel and we basically got tre treated by treated like royalty. In the morning at breakfast time <coughs> me and mum were in the restaurant. She decided to get a cake made for me by the staff and they brought it over to the table and everyone sang happy birthday. I was really embarrassed but it started the day off to a good start. Also the cleaners came in, realised it was my birthday by having banners all over the walls saying happy birthday and all the presents laid out on the table and all of the cards which I took with me in the suitcase. Because they found out this they went downstairs, we spent the whole day outside so we didn't actually know this was happening, came back upstairs and what they did for us, they put a bottle of champagne in an ice bucket and gave us two glasses so we could drink in the hotel room, which was a really fun experience. We ended up having the bottle of champagne but we also got another bottle of champagne and we ended up bringing it home to have at home at the little party with the family. Well, say family, it's like me, my mum and a close family friend. So it was a really fun time, just relaxing by the pool, going in the sea, spending my 18th birthday over there, having a party. I had a beach party for my 18th birthday at night which was really fun and ended up doing Gangnam Style on the beach with a whole load of stones so my feet kind of got a bit wrecked so that's my life and I hope you enjoyed it tune in next week for another new video